performing, and I brought a flask. <laughs> I am so poor. I don't. It doesn't make any sense. Don't mind me. Hold on. <laughs> I'm actually only 18. I'm just doing this because I look cool. <laughs> yeah, I had to stop smoking because it was starting to hurt. I was just trying to look cool. Now, here's my idea of smoking. Okay, um, I'm patenting this already, so nobody tried to patent this. Okay, cigarettes. A carton of cigarettes with different kinds of cigarettes to fit the mood at that moment when you need a cigarette. If you're confused, don't worry. I'll explain everything. <laughs> everything will be explained. Okay, I.E. Okay, you could smoke Winston's when you're watching NASCAR. You could smoke Newports when you remember you used to be black. <laughs> you could smoke Beaties when you haven't showered in like six months. You could smoke, um, let's see, what else? Oh, you could smoke Marlboro 100s when you feel like compensating for something. <laughs> you could smoke Camel Wides when you feel bloated. You could smoke GPCs and, let's see, and, um, and what are those little, um, the smaller ones, the skinny ones? I just drew blank. Virginia Slims? No, not Virginia Slims. They're smaller. Capris, thank you, thank you. Capris and GPCs when you're feeling poor and or lonely. I smoke those two a lot. <laughs> you could smoke, uh, you could smoke uh, Virginia Slims when you feel like smoking your own feces. <laughs> those things are horrible. And so is what I just said. <laughs> but I'm adorable. I don't care. I don't care tonight. I'm so damn cute. Hi. Hi everyone. Hey, wonderful. So, okay. <laughs> my, my mom just gave me this credit card that I can only use specifically for emergencies. So like when I'm out with my buddies and we're trying to figure out like the bill, you know? Like it's okay. You pay 10, you pay 5, and I'll pay 30. No, wait, wait, wait. You pay 30, you pay 10, and I'll pay 50. Eh, fuck it. Just give me the cash. I'll just put it on my mom's credit card. It's awesome. Don't worry, it's for emergencies. I can't figure it out. It's an emergency. It counts. Swipe. Done. I just made like 60 bucks. So my like, friends have started to notice how like, rich I'm getting, you know? So they're like, they started doing this too. So like now we fight over the bill. It's like, okay, dude, your mom bought the last two pizzas. This pizza's on my mom. She hooks it up. Don't care about extra toppings that I was trying to have a tag on, it didn't work. Hey, that's all right. Let's be gentle. Does anybody have to go to the bathroom? This guy should have been here last night, it was fucking hilarious. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so, uh, no, I, I was saying, my mom, she was like, hey Todd, did you lose a little bit of weight? And I was like, no mom, I didn't lose any weight. It's right here with my other flaws. <laughs> what, did you lose a little bit of your youth? <laughs> you recovering alcoholic bitch. <laughs> <coughs> did you hear that noise? It wasn't you coughing. <laughs> it was right after it. There was complete silence. And that's the sound. That's what it sounds like when doves cry. Someone get Prince on the phone. Call him. We found it. <laughs> Look him up. He's in the white pages. <laughs> Under something funny. <laughs> I haven't written anything because I'm lazy. <laughs> but I'll get on that. I'll be funnier next. Okay. Hey. Ow! It's <laughs> a shirt. <laughs> I wore it last night. She been here. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. You guys might know who my dad is. My dad, he's an Olympic gold medalist. Um, you guys might know too. Yeah, everybody might know. My dad is an Olympic gold medalist. His name's Bob Seeger. See, I mean, not Bob Seeger. It's Bob Seeger. He's my dad. He's a dreamer. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, he was also like on that show Soap with Billy Crystal. You guys remember that show in the 80s? No? Give me, no. Damn. What about you guys? You guys remember that? <laughs> my dad was, was uh, Billy Crystal's gay lover on that show. This is serious. Do you, yeah? You're with me? Do you know? This guy knows. Buy him a beer. <laughs> I know too. You know too. Alright, Dick. <laughs> 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 she calls me worse, don't worry. Keep going. 
Oh, and my dad was also on the show, like it was like PM Magazine, it was like a night show. It was like explaining like all like the night stuff, what's going on in LA. And he also had this role for like 24 years. He was playing my deadbeat dad. <laughs> he was awesome at it. <laughs> I should have seen him. She got an Emmy. <laughs> oh, or I should have for crying. It was many, many set. I'm not a joke, but I was just trying to go with it. I'm lazy. Anyway, um, so I was hanging out at his house. He lives in this huge mansion. And I was like hanging out at his house when I was like 12 years old. And uh, I was like snooping around, you know. And I found a Playboy magazine. And I was like, yes! And I opened it up, it was my stepmom who I had just met. She was the centerfold. It was, like, at first I was like, oh my god, this is my stepmom! And then I was like, oh my god, this is my stepmother! I have a chance! Because I know her! <laughs> mm -hmm, yes! So, like, things were so weird between me and my dad the next day. You know, I was like, so, Dad, what uh, what did you and Peggy do? That was her name, Peggy. Peggy McIntyre is what it is, and then you guys will look it up, fucking perverts. <laughs> no, so, sorry, that was weird. I'm, I'm mean. I'm mean, but huge. It's weird. No, so like, I was like, so, Dad, what did uh, what did you, what did you and Peggy do before you guys got married? Like, did she have like a part-time job? Or she go to college. Sure, booze everyone. <laughs> All right, Dad, hit that rock. <laughs> and my dad's like, "Where's the rock top? Where's the rock? Oh, there it is." <laughs> it was cool. We bonded that day. And it was good. I couldn't, I couldn't look him in the eye. You know, it was so uncomfortable for that. It was mainly because he's like really tall. And I was short at the time. I couldn't look him in the eye. Get it? <laughs> I didn't either. Someone just told me to say that. I'm sorry. He paid me five dollars. I'm, I'm, I'm split with you guys. It's like, it's like a nickel each. That'd be cool. You guys get that, that like six seconds of pain. You want a nickel? Congratulations. Everyone gets a nickel. And you can hit the rock later. And you'd be like, where's the rock? Where's the rock? There it is. That's so funny and cute and original. I thought of it. I make shit up all the time. I don't even know what I'm saying. I blacked out. Whenever something's that funny, nobody laughs. I'm like, whoa, sorry, I blacked out. Weird. Whoa. A magician never reveals his magic, and I just did for you tonight, folks. That's how I roll. You guys are cool. And this for you. Anywho. So, um, I'm kind of like, I, I'm trying to save money lately. And uh, I'm gonna share with you some tips on how to save some dough. <laughs> First thing you gotta do is take your toothpaste chunks off your porcelain sink, put them on a plate, serve them as after dinner mints. <laughs> Great way to save some dough. Another good way, stop pouring your bacon grease down your drain. You can just use it as lotion. Put a little potpourri in there, boom, lotion. Don't have to spend five bucks, Bob. Boom, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Another good way to save money, stop buying hookers. <laughs> you can, if you're a hooker connoisseur, you can still get hookers, but you just shop around a little bit. Check eBay. I don't I heard, this is what I heard. I heard that um, Asian hookers are cheaper and they love you long time. <laughs> That's the word on the street. That's what my homeboys tell me. They taught me this little number too. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects make everything funny. <laughs> like when, I, when nobody laughed at how I knocked all this shit down, I should have went. Shh, shh, <laughs> That's what I should have done. I wish I had a time machine. And we gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Falling in there. I'm doing a little report. No? Nobody's gonna go to the bathroom. Everybody's gonna hold it. Hold it, guys. Hold it. Don't. Don't do it. I don't know. So. <laughs> I blacked out. <laughs> For the next 10 seconds, I'll be punching myself in the crotch repeatedly. Yeah! Yes. It's getting interesting. It's getting interesting up in this bitch. You guys can count how many times I punch my hoo hoo. And I say hoo hoo because it sounds more mature. I'll buy you a beer if you can count. Ready? How many was that? Oh, yeah. 
30. 30. 30. Guess what, guys? You're all wrong. I was punching my leg. <laughs> <laughs> sucker, 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 sucker. <laughs> Todd won. Audience zero. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> now I'm going to get a bruise. I'm going to get a bruise. That's OK. But uh, I do it for you. My, <laughs> I have my fiance over there, and she hates it when I do that joke, because she's afraid my babies are going to come out dented. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my like miss? I don't know. I'm gonna need a bruise for you guys. This is what I do. This is my love. Yes. Whoa, blacked out. Um, <laughs> so, um, what else was I gonna do? I totally forgot what I was gonna do next. Uh, oh, Magic Johnson plays for the Harlem Globetrotters now. And that's so cool. Like, it's so cool because now we know that Make a Wish can work for celebrities. <laughs> That's so, like, I just wish they would have done this for, like, celebrities in the past, you know? Like, uh, Kurt Cobain, he could have wished for a better wife. <laughs> but it's true. Queen loves a bitch. <laughs> I hate her. Anyway, um, Sonny Bono could have wished for skiing lessons. Because he was like this. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. <laughs> I'm dead. That's how he died. Like a champion. It's like, you remember, like, remember when Fabio like, got hit in the face with a bird on the roller coaster? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and then, there's more. Hold on. <laughs> when um, Randy Johnson like pitched that ball and that bird exploded. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. I don't have a joke for this, but I should write one. It'd be hilarious. Damn it, I'm so lazy, but cute. <laughs> but I'm not cocky, which is good and important. Anywho. Oh, I forgot what Princess Di could have wished for a better driver. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I actually got $10 for that one. Everybody gets a quarter. That's 30 cents. <laughs> Put your hands together. We're all making money. <laughs> making money. Cool. I was fishing for that. Uh, uh, applause, pause. That's cool though. I fished for it and uh, you took the bait. <laughs> <laughs> Top two audience zero. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Am I mean? Okay. <laughs> Anything I mean? Um, thank you. She pays attention. There's, oh yeah, I forgot to take a test afterwards. <laughs> you guys, I, I work with these guys. You guys know how cute I am. You know it. You know it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what else? Oh! <laughs> this is like another uh, not joke, but I should write one thing. But I have this like reoccurring dream where I valet Prince's car. I should have said this when I was talking about Prince. But like, <laughs> it's so weird. Like, he drives like a, a purple Lamborghini. And like everything inside of it is like velvet purple. There's no joke, I just think it's awesome that I have this weird bird. That's true, by the way. I'm gonna do a joke again. I'm gonna go back to that and work better. Oh, um, I think it's so ridiculous how women spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars getting like boob implants to make their boobs look bigger. Like, cause it's so much easier for guys because all we gotta do is eat cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, that's how I got these cojones. <laughs> These huevos. That means balls, but I don't know that language. <laughs> Someone told me. I don't know. I love this place. And I love all of you. And um, everybody's going to get 30 cents. Everybody can hit this rock. I'm Todd Hibble. i got to go do another show. Thank you. Woo! Is the uh, is the super slide? 
I absolutely love the super slide. The only thing bad about it is all the damn steps. You know, I could like take like two extra beers and a corn dog. And I ran out halfway up. So it took me like an hour to get up these damn stairs. Up there, I thought I was out of breath sitting there. Hold on. And there was this little kid up there crying because he was scared to go down it, you know? He was crying. And so I told him, I said, you know, it'll be okay. You go down first, and I'll be right behind you, okay? Okay. This was a mistake. <clears throat> because I went down to some bitch like a bullet. <laughs> he was about halfway down, and I knocked him about 50 feet in the air. In fact, I didn't even slow down until a parking lot, and I hit a BW. I totaled it. That poor little kid got knocked, he got caught up in the middle of the tilt the world, went around 50 rounds. The carney charged him six tickets for the ride. <laughs> but he didn't have the money either, so they made him bark for the bearded lady. There's actually more to that joke, but I got to the bearded lady part, got horny. I got to rub one out and took a nap. So. So, <laughs> there should be more of that later, but that's just, that's just a difficult part. Hey, school's back in session, isn't it? <laughs> Hey, the only reason I know because I got to work the other day and there was a bicycle stuck under my truck. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a tricycle. I just softened it up for you guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hated school. Even when I, I hated shopping for school clothes. You know? It was absolutely amazing how my mom would mix and match reasons to get me beat up. You know? And I couldn't wear the cool clothes. You know, There were no Garanimals for me. <clears throat> they didn't make fat kid Garanimals. Because if they did, you'd have to match like the elephant with the manatee. And the manatee with the hippo. You can't do that. No, I stuck wearing huskies. All oh, huskies were where big people clothes they didn't sell the year before. <laughs> so to get everything to fit, it was always way too long, you know? And oh my god, my mom would hem the shit out of everything. <laughs> so all these brand new clothes that any dork would have been proud to wear got turned into half shirts and pedal pushers. Corduroy pedal pushers. Why would you dress a fat kid in corduroys? <laughs> oh my god, the friction between my legs was unbelievable. <laughs> Every time I walk, I thought it just burst into flames, you know? Pip, pip, pip. Oh my god. I wish that I was a late bloomer. No, I just kept burning all the damn hair off. <laughs> I, I hate that recess too. Have you seen the playgrounds kids have today? They're these wonderful plastic monstrosities with their own damn shade. What did we have growing up? We had metal slides and the porcelain duck mounted on a truck spring. <laughs> metal slides. A metal slide in Phoenix is called a griddle. <laughs> Every time I went down, I swear to God, I could smell bacon. And the porcelain duck wasn't much better. You know, I hated that thing. It would never go springy, springy for me. I'd get on it and just fold straight back. Shoot. <laughs> This is fun. Hey, that sand's a little hot. I smell bacon. All right, guys, you're you doing great. Ready for the next set? Right. You're being correct tonight. There's a very funny guy who drums all around the valley. Put your hands together for Dan Goff. I feel, can I swear in front of you? Because like I feel like I'm recording from my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay if I cut?